I'm Ashley Dorn, a doctoral candidate in the History Department, and this summer I worked as an intern for the University of Iowa Labor Center to grow and support the Iowa Women in Trades Network. Construction includes many individual trades, such as carpentry, pipe fitting, and sheet metal work. In the United States, women make up only 0 to 3 percent of all workers in construction. In Iowa, the numbers are usually lower. Women's exclusion from skilled trades has meant their exclusion from jobs that are exciting and challenging, more likely to be unionized, and well paid enough to build a stable career on skills that remain in demand. This summer, I spoke with a woman who said, I wish I had known the trades were a thing. I wouldn't be in crazy student debt, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. Created by the University Labor Center in connection with community partners, Iowa Women in Trades exists to connect women interested in and already working in construction. Meeting virtually once a month, Iowa Women in Trades hosts speakers and discussions, provides information and resources about workplace rights, and supports tradespeople in all career stages. My task as an intern was to interview Iowa tradeswomen about their passions and how they got their start in order to create publicity materials that feature women at work. One thing that made my task easy is that tradeswomen love their jobs. A painter I talked to said, it's a little lighter out in the field. There's banter, there's music, there's different trades and challenges. It's different than what you would see in an office setting. There are heights and getting dirty. I think the trade that I chose is honestly one of the best that you can be in. Painting and drywall finishing takes finesse and patience and challenges the mind. And just like little kids, I was playing with a bucket of mud every day at work. An iron worker told me, I like watching something get done. I like the blank slate to the finish. Hell yeah, we did that today. Maybe no one will see it because it's about to be covered with concrete, but we accomplished that. I helped build it, it's done right, and it looks good. Through our meetings and interviews, I learned that women face many obstacles to entering the trades. From difficulty finding good work boots, to the upfront cost of tools, to inexperience on a busy job site. Information about the trades, opportunities for career building, and the accessibility of apprenticeship program can change people's lives. During the monthly Iowa Women in Trades meetings, guest speakers were often followed by open discussions. Many participants had questions about how to build a solid reputation, how to find allies on the job site, and how to establish and enforce boundaries with people who continue to discount and target women. During one of the meetings, a young welder and carpenter asked about harassment. Where do I draw the line? I can't be in the office all day filling out reports. Immediately, women in the meeting responded to her, both on video and through the chat. Where do you work? Do you know your federal and state rights even if you don't have a union? Do you have a way to record interactions that cross your line? The willingness of women to be candid with one another made it possible for the combined wisdom of the room to talk through the problem, to figure out what legal protections were in place and what potential personal responses might be. Working with Iowa Women in Trades has made me more aware of the many stages of construction work going on all around me and on campus. While I was thrilled to see a woman hired to paint my apartment building this summer, the problem remains that many women have little opportunity to learn about the trades or how to join an apprenticeship program. Iowa Women in Trades provides personal support, information about workplace rights, and an ongoing forum for tradeswomen to problem solve together. As I reflect on my experiences this summer, I hope that as people connected with the university, we will remember that necessary and fulfilling work outside of our realm may be just the opportunity that our friends, family, and students are waiting to hear about.